It's just three months since David Boy Green was knocked out in this ring by the American Carlos Palomino in his bid for the WBC welterweight title. Tonight starts the comeback and we wait to see whether Palomino's left hook has left any permanent mark on the career of Dave Green. The opponent, the bearded Andy Price from San Diego, California. A man who once beat Carlos Palomino, the conqueror of Dave Green. But also a man who in the States is not reckoned to have a powerful punch. And in some ways, this fight tonight is as important for Green as the one with Palomino. Because for sure, if he doesn't win this one, then he can virtually say goodbye to any chance of ever getting back to a shot at the world title. Andy, the Hawk Price, he's known as the Hawk, and he's got a Hawk emblazoned on the right leg of his trunks. Quite a bit of drama today at the weigh-in. Both men failed to make the weight, which was the welterweight limit, of course, of 10 sevens. Green was two ounces overweight and got it off by the simple expedient of removing his underpants. But Price was a pound and a half over, and it took him an hour and 20 minutes and four trips to the scales before he got it off. And Andy Smith, the manager of Green, was absolutely insistent that he had to get it off right down to the very last ounce. Well, there were some danger signs there for Green. And in fact, uh, he looked to be a little bit at sea at times there, rather more so than he did in the opening round against Palomino. So, this could be a very, very tough fight indeed for Green, and he's going to have to shake things up a bit, and he's going to have to put a lot of pressure on Price to unsettle that man out of his very easy style. Price, the American, 23 years old. Green, 24. Price has not only beaten Carlos Palomino, the, uh, the current WBC champion, but he's also beaten Pepino Cuevas of Mexico, who is the other welterweight champion of the world, the WBA champion. So two notable scalps for this man. And yet they still rate him as a non-puncher in the States. Good body punch from Dave Green. Outreach, but coming through the inside. Putting pressure on the American, driving him back. Price frowns occasionally when the punches hit him around the head. And the old determination now coming back, flooding back into green as he warms up. Not such a neat boxer as the American making up for it with determination. Well, you can see just by looking at Price why he's had one or two good wins in the States. There's a touch of class about him. Been well drilled. end of the third this man from San Diego been knocked out twice in his career and beaten twice on points four defeats on the record in 34 fights 27 wins but only seven have come inside the distance and he hasn't stopped any opponent since February 1975 Green has not mounted quite the sort of sustained attacks that he did with Palomino sheer blinding and driving ferocity of that fight with Palomino isn't quite here with him. He was really worked up and psyched up for a world title fight that night.
Price fighting his way out of that corner. But got back into it again. And Green works well with the body. This is the pressure he has to put on. This is the stuff that worried Palomino. Green hurt. Had to back up. Didn't want to, but he had to back up and he's in trouble. And his eyes cut underneath. All sorts of trouble now for Green. Cut underneath the left eye. Round five. So once again, crucial moments, and he's not ready to come out. He hasn't got his gumption. Well, he has got it in now, but it looked as though he hadn't got it in for a moment. So the fifth round, and Green now up against it. Nasty looking cut underneath the left eye. Feeling his way in this one rather sensibly. He really can't afford to open up and uh, be caught again the way he was caught in the fourth round. Papayo opening up is the only way he's going to win this fight, so he's got real problems. well there green oh, that's the sample of the stuff that price comes back with well halfway through the schedule 10 and uh, one thing has been demonstrated again tonight that uh, against good class opponents green is very very exposed he leaves himself wide open and a good man knows how to take advantage of him that's what palomino did and that's what Price is doing. And it really is beginning to look as though they aimed a little too high for this first comeback fight of Green's. He could have done, I think, something a good deal easier than this. You can only ask a man to have so many wars in his fighting life. And this is another war for Green. Standing there and getting caught flat-footed by those sweeping lefts into the body. Honestly quiet as they see the sort of efforts that Green's putting in coming to nothing. Well, there must be one desperately disappointing uh, thing for the Green Corner, and that is that despite all those struggles to make the weight at one o'clock this afternoon by Andy Price and it took him an hour and 20 minutes to get the weight off a pound and a half he had to shed despite that he stood up to the best attacks that Green can throw he's shown no signs of weakness under head or body punching second goal round seven
typical aggressive, brave, determined effort by Green against a man with uh, rather more talent. The young man from Chatteris will not be denied. Once again, Price fights his way out of the corners when he looks in trouble. He always finds something to come back to. Well, when they doled out determination, they certainly gave Green more than his share. Marvellous effort by the young Briton. Nothing he does seems to make any difference to Price. The man takes some, avoids some, and then comes back with some. The best moments of the fight for Green by a long way. time to think about heads at a moment like this. Uh, you won't see two minutes of fighting much better than that. Round nine. Well, there can't be too many occasions when a man who's... Uh, been beaten for a world title has come back into the ring three months later for his next fight and found somebody almost as good again to come back but he looks like a man groping in the dark determined but feeling his way forward almost by instinct out on his feet a minute ago absolutely out on his feet now he's beginning to come round and back into it and you wonder just how the American failed to finish him off in this ninth round he had him at his mercy and he let him go And 
the pair of them look as though they've got hardly anything left at all. And there's another round to come. Heads rubbing together. Both of them almost too tired to hold their arms up. They've both given everything. And they've still got three minutes to go. This was the moment when disaster suddenly came upon Green. This flurry of punches. He attacked hard. And back came Price with his favourite left hook and then a marvellous couple of right hands. And a lot more after that. And Green really was in desperate trouble. And it's a miracle that he's still in the fight. Second off. Ten and last round. The final round of a fine and furious fight. And you wouldn't like to put your money on either man even now. We're in the last minute and the pace doesn't slacken. A world title eliminator. And right to the last second, there's going to be some doubt as to who goes through from this extraordinary fight. Green's made the better finish. And you wouldn't have thought it possible. The crowd roaring him on now. A great crescendo of sound in the Empire Paul Wembley for this young Briton. whose whole career looked like blowing up in his face in the ninth round. The bell, and Green has won it. Sid Nathan has no hesitation, straight to Green. He beats Andy Price. A most remarkable performance by Dave Boy Green. Defeat stared him in the face, three or four minutes from the end. He survived it and won a most marvellous...